hölgyek, urak, nagyon sok szeretettel köszönünk mindenkit. A Szeregitás Rig interjúja ma a muzikumból jelentkezik. Joss Miss koncertje lesz. Előtte belekukkanthatunk a cuccaiba. Gyertek, gyertek! Thank you very much, George, for the great opportunity. We are in the music room before the show. Yeah. After the sound check and realize everything was fine. Yeah. Are you satisfied? I'm happy to be here, man. My first time in Budapest. Uh, yeah, thank you much. Welcome to Budapest. Yeah. So, our audience is, is typical guitar players. So they're interested all in the details, the technical details. So just just give us give us the opportunity and the details of what you will be using today. Let's start, I don't know. For example, the guitars okay. and what you want. Uh, number one is this Chapin T-Bird. Telecaster style guitar made by Bill Chapin from Portland, Oregon. Uh, it's a 50 style ash body, one piece maple neck. This is a Lawler pickup. This is a, a handmade pickup by Chapin, a bridge pickup. Uh -huh. and, uh, it's just been my main guitar for a long time now. And, uh, use really heavy strings from this handmade string string maker in, in Los Angeles. Who makes, uh -huh. makes all the strings by hand, Gabriel Tenorio. And uh, they're great strings, and I use uh, 13 through 58. What? Yeah. <laughs> this is the number one, and then I have two real guitars from Germany. Uh huh. This is my guitar. This is a Les Paul Real Guitars Burst. Um, that two years ago I was lucky enough to spend the whole tour with a real 1960 yeah. Les Paul, and uh, it, it blew me away because I was never a Les Paul guy, but it was so uh -huh. good. So my friend Uli at Real Guitars makes great Les Paul copies. Okay. So while I had the guitar, I took it to Uli and I said, make me this guitar. Okay. So that's what that is. And then this is... Uh, so it's sort of the pickup pickups? Pickups are German pickups, Amber 59, they're okay. called. And um, yeah, it's a new guitar, except for the wiring harness. Uh, Joe Bonamassa gave me uh, a harness from a 1960 Les Paul. So the pots and the caps are from, from oh, a Les yeah, Paul. Oh, yeah, <laughs> It made a difference, surprisingly. Yes. It made a little bit of a difference, you know? This is also real guitars from Germany, uh, like a 57 style, older uh -huh. body, made from that. This is not my guitar, I'm borrowing it for the tour, and then they'll sell it at the end of the tour. Because uh -huh. it's hard to travel with a lot of guitars on the airplane. So I have one double bag, so I can just buy it. So these are my Morgan amplifiers from California. I leave these in Germany, so every time I come to Europe, I have these here. Okay. They run on on the Euro, Euro, Euro yeah, two amplifier. They run on two twenty. So they're. Uh, this is my main amp, the Goat or the JS forty. It's like a super reverb, forty oh. watt, two six L six, but it has a three knob reverb circuit, like a Fender tank, like the old uh -huh. outboard okay. tank. Okay. And instead of four tens, it's two twelves. Yes. And it has. Uh, at home, I use my new Eminence Josh Smith speaker, uh -huh. but I don't have any in Europe yet, so this has some older Eminences in it. Nice. These amps have been in Europe for five years now. And then this one is AC40, which is like an AC30, uh, but 40 watts. Oh, okay. EL84's Vox style amp, two knobs, real simple, with two Eminence Red Fangs, which are Alnico uh -huh. type speakers. You, you were using in parallel or, or, or how to you? Uh, um, always on together. And per, yeah, it's dual, uh -huh. dual, not stereo, but just dual mono. Okay. I like the blend of the two and that's my sound, the two okay. together all the time. Let's continue with this beautiful board. This is my new board. Um, this was put together by Daniel at the gig rig in the UK from the pe that pedal show. Um, so it has the gig rig switcher, the G2. And the pedal board itself is a really, really killer board from Germany called the Schmidt Array. Uh huh. Um, it's a double decker. Yeah, That's double decker. Yeah. Yes. And it has a cool lid that goes right on top of the case. <laughs> I can carry it on the plane. It's perfect. So it's this is really cool. It has almost everything that my really big board has in a small little board. Could you give us just some details? Yeah. So what here on the top see? we have tuner, of course. This is my main pedal and has been for. 10 years, the love pedal chula. Uh -huh. Would you be so kind just demonstrate just when you switch on, on the yeah. pedal? Just, right, here just we give us some. So here's something. straight into the two amps. So. No, no pedals, just the amps. So here's the chula. pedal because it's so dynamic and yes. organic. If I play very clean, yes. even on bridge pickup, it's, you know, I can play the whole night. Just bridge pickup, that pedal, go from clean to... So for, for 
10 years if you've heard me play anything. 99% of the time is okay. that color. Okay, thank you. Um, this one next to it is my new favorite fuzz, the BOG. It's from Brazil, a company called Deep Trip Pedals. Okay. And that's what this sounds So that's the BOG fuzz, it's silicone, so it'll sound the same every night. Uh, this is Jesse Davey pedal, King Tone pedals, this is a guitar player from the UK who now lives in California, a friend of mine, he was in a band called The Hoax. Now he makes pedals, this is called the Duelist. It's like a Tube Screamer type pedal. It's my favorite. I only use with a strap. So if I switch to a strap, I'll put it on. Because uh, it's strap only pedal. It's for the Stevie Ray thing. Um, this is my Eventide H9, which I use for 20 different sounds. It's, it's uh, one of my main pedals. We thought it does only this year. I use Eventide. The H9? No, I've been using it for a while. Okay, yeah, that's all it's fine. Yeah, I use it like when I'm at home for sessions. It's the best because you control it with with your iPad. Okay. So I don't I can have my iPad on my music stand at a session and have access to a million sounds without having to bend down or turn around. Or, and so on my own show, the sounds I use from it most are like I use this Leslie sound. What's nice is with the switcher I can. I have a button dedicated for the H9 hot switch, uh -huh. which is a modifier for any sound in the H9. So with the Leslie, on this patch I have it set to be the brake. Uh -huh. the, the hot switch can be different for every sound that the H9 has. So like if I load a preset here, this is a now it changed the H9 and it changed the preset. So it's now it just loaded the fuzz and the H9 together. Oh. The switcher allows me to do to program my show. Oh. So like this is a song, it says how long. Okay. So basically that's the main sound. If I go to the next preset in this bank, it's the bridge of how long. Which has a Leslie on it. So I can just hit one button and it'll change multiple things, you know. Yeah. So that's what's on top. And then underneath. That's so cool. Oh! <laughs> yeah. So I have, um... This is the Catlin Bread yeah, Echo Rick, which is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. my favorite delay pedal. Mine as well. In front of it. Okay. So the front, so that's the echo rec. Which I love. Um, this is the purple plexi from Love Pedal, which is like when I need a Marshall sound. Yes, my Marshall pedal. I don't use it so much on my gig, but I have to use it on sessions a lot when I gotta get the is it's so loud that at any point in the night if I need to go way up oh. I can step on purple plexi <laughs> and no matter what other Boy, pedals are on it will still take it we'll okay. take it up further so that's nice uh, the flashback from TC okay. that's uh, I have my own like a tone print that I did for TC uh -huh. and it's, it's a slap back that I use. very simple I 
use that like with the chulo a lot, that's my main. It's kind of like my main sound. And then uh, that pink one is love pedal belief. Oh, it has no knobs. It's an octave pedal, so it's um. I like it because I can combine it with pedals to get it. So like if I have the octave... If I hit it with the fuzz, then it's more like an octave. With the volume knob on, on the my guitar all the time. All the time. All so the before of a solo or of yeah. Thing. That's it. That's the whole board. I have batteries. Why? Why do you need water? Because for the fuzzes and the drive, oh, okay. I like the way that it sounds better with the battery. I know that sounds silly, but um, so for the chula and the octave and the fuzz, it uses a battery. Uh -huh. Okay. And. Um, <clears throat> The watt I keep off the board, there's a loop on the side, uh -huh. so I can go on the side, I have two outputs to my two amps, guitar in, and then I have the loop for the wah, and the wah is placed third in the chain, because I like to have both before and after dirt when I want it. So basically, uh -huh. so I've got like, if I step on the wah, if I hit it with the, um, the fuzz, the fuzz is going into the wah. Oh, so more like the Hendrix thing. Right? But if I hit it with the chula, the fuzz is, I mean, the wah is before the chula. So okay. more like the Stevie Ray thing. Or especially like with the, with the jewelers, like a two screen. So that's like with the wah in front of the dirt. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was amazing. Thank you very much. And you also, welcome to Budapest. And thank have you. a great show. Thank you, Josh. Please. You got it. Yeah. Ciao. 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 Have a great show. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Th